Hi guys, uh, I'm Varun and I'm going to show you how to create this lovely abstract 3D render I did last year with Blender and Octane Render. It's here on my Instagram channel. Mm, here it is. And uh, this is basically what I'm going to recreate for you. Very easy to do and it looks absolutely stunning like as you can see. So. Let's get started. So here we are in Blender and uh, you will see that I have three windows. Basically you can add or remove uh, multiple windows with this. When you see this crosshair icon, you can just click on and you know add windows. So basically I use this left portion for, uh, for the camera and this is for my freely moving around the scene. So I can just, you know, do the scene so you can uh, move around this scene with holding your uh, middle mouse button navigate around your scene better press shift a and uh, add a cube press number pad one key to go into front view click this button to add these arrows so you can you know move around z axis x axis or y axis so we'll move around the z axis and just do it here scale it in the z axis so we'll press s z press number pad one move it above the plane so we have to twist it to add this twist i'll turn on the wireframe so you'll know better so if you see it does not have any geometry along which it can twist easily what we'll do here is we'll add more geometry hit tab key on your keyboard or go here and go to edit mode and now we'll add add some edge loops so press ctrl r and it will and just how if you hover over it with the directions it will show you where the edge loops will come so we want to add first here just scroll your mouse wheel a couple of times to add some geometry here so we'll press left click once and again to confirm this press ctrl r scrolling the middle mouse wheel click twice to confirm we'll repeat the process here now it has enough geometry Let's get out of edit mode. You might want to apply scale control A. This will apply all the transformations that we did. This will help us add the modifiers easily. Create the twist, wrench icon and add modifier. Do a simple deform. It automatically added along the X axis. We don't want that. We want to create it along the Z axis and the angle is what will decide the twist. 200 is a sweet spot. To avoid seeing these edges, just right click and hit shade smooth. I think it's the edges are very sharp, so they might not pick up all the light effects. We'll add a little bit of bevel around the edges. Add modify and add a bevel. Bevel is basically this rounded corners that you'll see right now. You're not seeing it because the segments is one. We'll add more segments and the amount 0.5 is good. This part is almost done to add a plane. Click shift A and add a plane. Press S to scale it. Left click to confirm. Press N to open some properties and go to view click on the camera view press n again to hide it and now we'll just move around inside the camera here to move around again hold shift and uh, middle mouse wheel just move it here so you see these lines you see this edge and then we'll go to this is the edge that we are seeing here in the camera we'll go to edit mode 
edge select we'll select this edge and then we'll extrude it upwards so to do that press e on your keyboard and then z to move to extrude in z direction edge select it again we will bevel it so to do that press ctrl b and then just move your mouse just like that to add more segments middle mouse press tab again to come out of it and then we'll shade smooth this again press r like this I'll go into the front camera view again. That's one on your numpad. Just want to see if it's touching the base properly. It's not intersecting. Before adding lights, let's add an empty. We'll add empty right in the middle of our object. The lights will track this empty. The lights will always be facing our model. Now let's add some lights. Because I'm using Octane Render, able to use area lights. Press Shift A and add area light. We'll connect it with that empty that we just created. So it'll always be moving a lot like that. So we do not have to do it manually. So if you press G, that will grab the light and if you see the light we'll have to adjust it manually every time we don't have to do that manually we can do that with the help of that empty that we just created we'll go here in the object constraints we'll add a damped track along the minus z axis select empty from here now it will always track this empty that we just created. Press G on the keyboard. We'll do it nice and easy. We'll duplicate this. Do Shift D, duplicate. Turn on our viewport shading. Let's see how it looks in Octane. Super bright. We don't want sunlight. So we'll disconnect it here. So we'll add a node, color texture. Press Shift A. And uh, Octane Environment, we'll add a texture environment. And connect it to Octane Environment. We have white light. We don't want white light. You want a black background. Don't worry, we'll be able to see it in just a minute. Let's go to object. Let's select our lights first. Click on use nodes. Let's remove this node. Let's shift A to add more nodes and go to search type black body emission is what we want connect this node to a mission don't worry about all the other details we we don't have to go a bit deeper into it right now the only things we need to check is power surface brightness so you might be seeing these artifacts here on the model add a subdivision surface it's maybe because of lack of enough geometry add a subdivision surface modifier see now it's gone i don't want my lights to be able to see inside my render so to hide it from the render but to keep the light falling on this uh, object i'm just going to click here on object properties and click uncheck camera visibility so it's hidden from here we'll do the same steps this is the other light so 
select your model we're going to apply a new material let's click on new name it so i'm not going to use this universal material i'm going to use a specular material because i want it to be a glass the shift a we have a glass we'll add a bit of roughness now i want to change this dispersion coefficient this is the effect that's going to make it and break it experiment with this i'm going to experiment with this let's start with 0.2 let's adjust our lights you will have to play with the lights a little because lights really add to the effect so we're not able to enjoy the effect because of the plane so let's make the plane let's remove this and add a glossy material and to keep the color a little black This will take a moment sometimes to render because glass is pretty difficult to calculate. Now I'm going to play with the lights. The another thing that we can play with is click on this is index of refraction. It it's changed dramatically. If you noticed we're not getting enough reflections on the on the bevels so we'll go here in the bevel and add more segments Another thing you can do is add round edges here it is So that's obtains own edge rounding See with the round edging it's catching more light surface is getting a lot of light so we want the plane to not catch a lot of light so maybe we can increase the roughness a little we we'll also change the camera perspective real quick so i want to change it to orthographic so we will we'll manipulate the camera right from here cool we'll render this out i'm going to turn this off for now octane does not allow us octane for blender actually doesn't allow us uh, to render two instances at once so we'll have to shut this one so we can render out so i'm going to move to viewport shading and uh, Let's come to render properties. For class, I'm going to keep maximum samples at about 1024. So I think I'm going to keep these settings as they are. I don't really change a lot of these settings. Oh yes, and there's one more post processing that you can do. Go into camera. this this on quickly turn this on we can add bloom and glass turn this off we'll check the size press f12 to start the render being glass it will take some time so i'll see you after the render so that's all done it's a bit greeny it's it's greeny because of the less samples if you want to add more more dispersion effect right here so maybe we need to play around the lights more mm, dispersion was in only on y20 so basically if you could see if i'm going to add this point 
four maybe much more effect so if i'll just quickly add another light shift t duplicate so it's all about how you play with it so it's you see that it's now adding more and more dispersion maybe you can do one more thing you can completely make the roughness go zero so it'll be even glossier so if you want to do that so if you did like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel please do comment if you have any questions if you want to ask me anything you can just head over to my instagram and uh, this is my first blender video so i'm hoping that i will bring more videos into the play thank you for watching i'll see you next time